Like what, mm -hmm. what was, what was influencing you to make you feel like you needed to um, do things a certain way? Yeah, I think, you know, the design creative industries as a whole, you know, it's a lot of trend based stuff. Um, I think there is a lack of mentorship in, in our creative fields. Um, but in the design industry itself, it's driven so much by, are you fitting with this thing that's popular right now? Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's that. I think there's also, you know, when designers talk to each other and when you see other creatives online, um, you don't see what it takes to get somewhere. You just see, you see a lot of people and you put them on a pedestal and you say, Hey, this is, this is the thing I need to achieve. And it's like, just because somebody else has found success in design does not mean that that's the path for you. You right. may, you know, the thing that's, you know, great about ourselves as individuals is that our experiences that we've had in our life, our skills, all these things make up like, the thing that can really craft your uniqueness and your offering. I kept trying to like figure out, okay, how do I fit within this shape? It's like, no, man, you just have to like bow out and like break the shape at, at the guts <laughs> of it and just be okay with yourself. And I think the biggest part of that, or the, the biggest thing that helped me realize that was when I learned to love myself because I felt like once I loved myself, there were no more barriers. And when you find a purpose, there's, you know, you know, as an entrepreneur and anybody that's worked in a job that uh, is demanding, if if you don't have some sort of purpose behind it, how are you going to get through those tough parts, right? Like, right. That is the hardest thing to think about when, when shit hits the fan and it goes south and you are at your wits end and you're trying to figure out if you're going to be able to keep going, if it's not driven by purpose, how the hell are you going to find the guile to like, dig through that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. So all that stuff really helped, uh, help me realize that instead of trying to fit inside this mold of what designers think designers should be, what they think work should look like, uh -huh. um, what, what the pinnacle looks like, we make that for ourselves. And that offering is the thing that makes us stand out. So once I realized that it was, oh man, now I feel the weight because I feel like the handcuffs are off. Right. And now I'm like, okay, it's, it's going down for real now. And I feel like I have an opportunity to really, uh, you know, help mentor some people, help, uh, help some other folks establish some good practices that they can carry into the tons of different parts of their life. And yep. I feel like that, that freedom, uh, it's irreplaceable, man.